<clears throat> uh, first, talk about uh, the meet itself, and you guys coming up just a little bit short there. Oh, um, the meet was uh, yeah, very exciting. I you know throughout the whole entire time, like every time one of the duck guys formed well, I mean, Cyrus won the the discus, and Tyler, sorry, um, Trevor Ferguson, you know, doing well in the long jump was just really encouraging when each athlete kind of stepped up along the way, and you know, our guys really fighting hard and trying to gun it, gun it out. So I mean, it's unfortunate we didn't quite come through, but even until like the last 50 meters, it was still anyone's battle, you know. They had to work to earn it, and at least that's a respectable way to lose, you know. What are your thoughts first with the way it finished rather than, than the dual streak coming to an end? Uh, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing, you know, in terms of like, you know, not continuing the legacy of, you know, being champions here at Hayward, but I feel like our team can come back from this. We can still put up a great show at the NCAA meet, and I feel like guys that weren't their best today, you know, some a couple guys um, were feeling quite as strong, quite as healthy. Um, I think by the time NCAA comes around, they'll be they'll be sharp, they'll be on their toes, and they'll be tough to beat. And I feel like we'll see a better Mike come to NCAA meet. Um, you know, he's getting there, he's working there, and he's going to be his best when it really matters. What about you and the 800? Oh, and the 800 was, was exciting. Um, I feel like um, it may have been just a little too windy today to really attack a fast time. Um, but uh, we still went for it, we still went hard, and uh, went out great for the first lap, went strong through 600 meters. And when I had to take the lead, um, you know, I just, I kind of slowed down a little bit. It was just it was so hard to really be strong all the way through the end, but I feel like I showed um, <clears throat> certainly a contender, I'm certainly a threat, and I'm certainly gonna be tough. And I want to show my competition, I want to know that, you know, um, I'm going for the win, and you know, once they get there, they're gonna have to go through me. 146. You, you didn't think that was fast? Um, you know, I felt it was good. You know, I, my PR is 145, though, so I was hoping to get. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to be on as best, like the top level. You know, I'll continually improving, continually getting better. It's also early in the season, so you have to have like realistic expectations. So um, I'm not disappointed at all, but uh, I, you know, I have big goals, big ambitions, and I want every opportunity to be an opportunity that matters, an opportunity that moves me forward and onward. Think the hair can help you with the time? Um, shape it? Uh, you know, probably it would help a little bit, but you know, my thoughts about this are um, certainly uh, there's a whole entire other half, the the gender that runs with long hair, and they uh, they still run just fine. And uh, I don't want to compare myself to them or anything like that, but I do think it can be done. So I'm not gonna worry about my hair slowing me down. You mentioned Mike; he's still working his way up. What about you personally? Do you feel like you're getting close? Um, you know, I've had some really strong workouts, and that's kind of like the big encourager. But I know for me, like, sometimes I just run my best when it matters the most. And the more pressure, the more expectations, it's when I have to buckle down and be tough. And, you know, today, um, I thought the competition was going to be good, and they, and they were good. It's just they weren't quite with me. And I, but I feel like when I get guys with me throughout the whole entire race, it'll push me like, deeper in my heart, so I'll be able to go even further, either further into the well, and, like, even more, so I'm just looking forward to the opportunity when I can really be challenged throughout the end of the race to the line. And, I mean, there's tough guys like Casimir Loxum and you know everyone else in the NCAA that can do that any given day. So you can be tough and be ready for that.